Good evening. I'm going to give you the two-minute cue just to give you time to get comfortable, make sure you have your program, and if you wouldn't mind silencing your devices. And we will begin sharply at 7 o'clock. Yes, he's not coming. Okay. Good evening, Erev Tov. Welcome to Gray Academy of Jewish Education's convocation for the class of 2019. I would like to welcome all of you who are here today, and also we have many people who are actually with us in the internet sphere uh, across Canada, the United States, and I think even internationally. So I'd like to also welcome all of those who are listening. Uh, feel free to message David Borzakowski, our director of marketing, to say hello, but we are really, really excited to be celebrating together tonight. We're going to silence our devices so that we can focus on the most important people this evening, which is our graduates. You're welcome to take photographs, take video. Uh, we do have a professional photographer who will be taking pictures tonight, but please feel free to do so. Mrs. White, who is at the back, waiting to usher our graduates in, I would like to thank her for giving me the privilege and honor to lead tonight's convocation. It truly is an honor to be able to help our graduates move on into the next stage. So thank you all for joining me tonight. And without Evan, any further, I'm going to ask Hamora Tatiana to come to the piano. And I would like to officially welcome the class of 2019 to their graduation convocation.
Thank you, Hamara Tatiana. Class of 2019, this is my opportunity to officially welcome you to your graduation, to the next few hours that I hope you will allow all of us here to celebrate with you this evening. To begin, I would ask for Jaron Rikus and Martine Glickman to please come forward and to ask everyone to rise for O Canada and Hatikva. Thank you, Jaron, and thank you, Martine. To begin with opening prayers, I would like to invite up Ronnie Rosen, who will be saying a prayer in Hebrew, and Asha Rich, who will be saying a prayer in English. לפרנסה ולכלכלה, לישועה ולאתגר, לאיפוק ולנחמה. תנחינו למצוא את האנושיות שבנו. תן לנו את היכולת לחזק את עצמנו, משפחת... משפחתנו וחברינו, ולשרת את קהילתנו בכבוד. תראה לנו דרכים לתיקון עולם. תנחינו לחיים ולשלום, שנכיר בחסרותנו. תן לנו כוח להתמודד עם שאיפותינו. תלמדנו כיצד לסלוח לעצמנו ולאחרים. אלוהינו, אתה לימדת אותנו להכיר את חילופי הזמן. תן לנו להכיר במעמד הזה כשעת כושר להעריך את חיינו. תבוא התקופה הזאת עלינו ועל כל עמך בית ישראל, לטובה ולברכה ונאמר אמן. towards livelihood and sustenance, towards liberation and challenge, towards patience and consolation. Direct us to find the humanity within us. Give us the cap capability to support ourselves, our families, and our friends, and to serve our community in dignity. Show us ways to tikkun olam. Direct us toward life and peace, that we may be aware of our shortcomings. Give us strength to struggle with our aspirations. Teach us how to forgive ourselves and others. Our God, 
you have taught us to be aware of the changes in time, let us regard this moment <clears throat> as, as an opportunity to evaluate our lives. May this period come to us and your entire people, Israel, for goodness and blessing. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Ronnie, and thank you, Asher. Gray Academy of Jewish Education has a governing board, which is the Winnipeg Board of Jewish Education. I am pleased to call up our president, Sean Shore, to bring greetings on behalf of the board. Thank you, Lori. <clears throat> Graduates and uh, relieved parents, and to all family members who are present tonight, Good evening. I would like to welcome you all again to this wonderful event where we have the opportunity to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2019. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sean Shore and I'm the chair of the Winnipeg Board of Jewish Education. It is my pleasure to be here this evening and to bring greetings and congratulations on behalf of the entire board of directors and to also offer some additional words of thanks and encouragement. <clears throat> My inspiration for these remarks is courtesy of something I heard from someone, but not just any old someone, but a Gray Academy student. I heard these words on April 30th. You may be asking yourself right now, what is so special about April 30th? And what could this student have said? Well, what they said was this. That was the day that our grade 10 students left for Israel for the, P for the P2G trip where after visiting Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, they would eventually settle in with their classmates at Kirich Shmona, which is our P2G school in Northern Israel. So picture this. I just want you to get this vision in your head because I can't get it out of my head. It's 4.30 in the morning. I show up and Avi is very excited. Now I am a morning person, but not that early. I'm getting ready to send my daughter away on this amazing adventure. The students are beyond excited filled with anticipation, and these are the words I hear. Am I on my imaginary trip to Israel? That's what I heard. Think about that. Am I on my imaginary trip to Israel? What an amazing statement I thought that was. For those of you who don't recall, the imaginary trip to Israel is part of the grade three curriculum where students have an imaginary trip to Israel. And imagine that, a grade seven or eight student, uh, pardon me, uh, some seven or eight years later, a student is reflecting on that trip and connecting it to their P2G trip and realizing on that vision, that dream, and that inspiration, all of which was formed in grade three. I found this to be a truly inspiring statement as it really brought together what we do at the school and the mission and vision that we have. I'm gonna share that with you very quickly. Our vision is to provide an educational environment of academic excellence, strong Jewish values, spiritual and physical wellness, and proud global citizens. Our mission is to prepare students to reach their full potential as empowered global citizens, be provided with educational excellence, which is framed by Jewish identity, community, and values. And so, to my dear graduates here, what does all this mean? Well, this is what it means to me, and what I would inspire you to take away is this is that anything is possible. And whether you, or you, whether you are aware of it or not, the tools that you have right now, which have been carefully curated and shepherded along, along by those around you for many years, your parents, your family, your teachers, your friends, your entire Gray Academy family, will allow you to achieve great success. And that success is defined for each of you individually, and more importantly, is unlimited. The inspiration and ability to envision Israel in grade three realized into actuality many years later, that is a blueprint for every single problem or issue you may encounter in your journey through life. Now, I have had the honor of getting to know a few of you over the years. Some of you will have remember, will remember my own meaningful Jewish experience when I traveled to Poland in 2015 to gain a true understanding of what happened there many years ago. Some of you are integral parts of my daughter's lives, whether at school or at BBYO. Some of you, very strangely, keep showing up at my house with increasing frequency. So with that in mind, and to all of you, I will offer, da -da -da, that's an inside joke. I will offer you, but Ari knows what I'm talking about. So with that, and to all of you, I will offer these concluding words, that as you leave this building and start the next chapter of your lives, I hope that each of you find health, happiness, and success in your travels through life, 
and that in so doing, you do so being informed of your actions, actions which are deliberate and meaningful and based on your belief system of what is right and just in this world, and that you carry that forward with the utmost humility and respect for those around you, all of which inspires you to dream of what your next imaginary trip to Israel will be. So, congratulations to you, to you all, and please accept my thanks, as it has been a privilege for me to be part of your journey. Thank you. As Sean sits down, I want to publicly thank Sean. I think he's uh, broken a new record. The WBJE in 2020 will become 40 years uh, thriving, 40 years old, and Sean is in his fourth year as WBJE president and setting a new trend in governance across independent schools in North America. We'll finish with his fifth and sixth year as her daughter reaches graduation. So thank you, Sean, for everything you do behind the scenes. Advar Torah sets our tone. Jewish education is framed by Torah. Gray Academy's education is framed by the Jewish values that inherently frame the journey that they have been along. I would like to invite up our Judaic Studies advisor, Dr. Ruth Ashrafi, to share words of Torah as we begin our formal part. <clears throat> Jewish education in the 21st century, what does that look like? This question leads directly to another one. Being Jewish in the 21st century, what does that look like? Let me talk about five aspects of being Jewish in 2019. The first central element of being Jewish is having a Jewish memory. What's the difference between history and memory? History is knowing what happened in the past. Memory is asking how that what happened in the past impacts who I am today. Let me give you an example. At the Seder, at Pesach, we do not just teach our children that our forefathers came out of Egypt, but we go one step further. We say that in every generation, each person must see himself as if he or she personally left Egypt. Our forefathers became free. Fine. Now, what does freedom mean to us in Winnipeg in 2019? Our Jewish memory is over 3,500 years old. In that time, we have been around the block a few times. In our Jewish history classes, we studied this wealth of experience and discussed how it can inspire us to live better lives. Jews are fellow travelers on an ancient pathway, which leads us to the second central element of Jewish identity. We are family. Yes, and I'll stop singing now. The Torah calls us mostly B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel. We are Mishpocha. You have probably experienced this. When we are away on vacation and run into fellow Jews, most of us will strike up a conversation because we want to meet these other members of the tribe. We feel a strong connection with other Jews, even if we have never met them before. Now to our third element. One of those pivotal moments in the history of our Jewish family was to stop at Mount Sinai. We did not just leave Egypt and marched straight to the land of Israel, no. At Mount Sinai, God made us a deal. Be like any other free nation in the world or accept that there is one God who has a very special vision for how to make the world a better place for everyone. Oh, and plus God gave us certain festivals and rituals and other mitzvot to anchor this vision in time and in our lives. Whether you are Orthodox, Conservative, Reform, or Atheist, it really doesn't matter. Our family put on a spe specific pair of spectacles at Mount Sinai through which we look at the world. It made us into inveterate do-gooders, into people who work tirelessly on behalf of the community, for whom tikkum olam is a basic value. At Gray, you learned about different forms of Judaism. You studied Jewish values when you learned in your life cycle class how to treat a deceased person with the utmost respect or the importance of taking stock of your life and doing the shuva at least once a year at Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Those Mount Sinai values are still inspiring our lives. The fourth element is Israel. Every Jew should visit Israel at least once for so many reasons. A big part of the Jewish future is being created in Israel. Israel shows what can be possible if you bring the vision of tikva, of hope, to life. 
not just for Jews, but for as many other people in the world as well. The startups, the inventions, the contributions to culture, the contributions to science, to Jewish learning, it is too much to list it all. And when you visit Israel, you feel that special energy and its inspiring power. Israel is big at Gray Academy. We want our students to have a strong connection to our homeland. The fifth and final element in a Jewish identity is Hebrew. Language is culture. Certainly, a lot survives in translation, but crucial bits often get lost. For instance, tzedakah is often translated with the word charity. Well, charity is making a donation when you feel like it, but tzedakah is social justice. Everyone should set aside a portion of your income for others. We pray to God in Hebrew, and we can enter any synagogue in the whole wide world and participate. My Russian and Spanish are non-existent, but I can communicate with my fellow Jews in Hebrew. These five elements, Jewish memory, the strong sense of mishpacha, our covenant with God and its values, Israel and Hebrew, are all part of modern Jewish identities. For some of us, all five of these aspects are part of being Jewish. For others, just two or three or one that is very important and the others not so much. We are all different. At Gray, we have tried to help you make your own connection with any of these elements, giving you the tools to build your own Jewish identity. We hope that with this beginning, this basis, you will cont continue as a fellow traveler on that ancient pathway. On behalf of the staff, we cannot wait to see your ideas and contributions. A hearty mazel tov and many brachot on your journey. <clears throat> Thank you, Ruth. We are very privileged to be a congregation, Shari Tzedek, this evening and to be here for many special events. I would like to invite up Rabbi Mas and maybe Ronen, who's going to be up here in about 10 years. Now you're going to stay down there to bring greetings on behalf of the shul. Thank you, Laurie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's a great pleasure once again to open our doors for Gray Academy so you can celebrate this wonderful uh, graduation of grade 12. And... Yes, I brought my son today. He's in kindergarten, Gray Academy. So I wanted to picture himself 12 years from now. But you see, I just noticed that this week we are reading Parsha Behar, the Torah. Talking about the Shemitah, the sabbatical year. But it's very interesting, the sabbatical years. Once every seven years, you can't do anything with the land. All the debts are forgiven. All the slaves go free. It's almost like pushing the reset button. But this is the thing. Sometimes we confuse the reset button with the off switch. So this is not an off switch. This is a reset button. So it's a new beginning for you. And I was thinking that whenever you start something new, you need two things. First, you need that fire burning inside you to keep moving forward. And second, you need experience. Well. I know for a fact that Gray Academy gave you all the experience you need for the next stage. What you need to bring from yourself is that fire that perhaps you remember used to burn inside yourself when you just started. That's also why I brought my son, because I can see it every day. He's dragging me to school every day because he has that fire of learning, of that hunger to know more. So if you can combine those things, that fire, with the experience you receive, you're going to be unstoppable. So that's my blessing for you and my wish for you that uh, to bring those two elements on your next stage in life. May God bless you. And again, welcome everyone and congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Rabbi Mas, and I want to say that we're very privileged at Gray Academy to have connections with all of our synagogues and clergy, and on May 11th, uh, two Shabbats ago, we had the opportunity to be with Rabbi Cleel Rose and Cantor Tracy Kasner Graves for the Grad Shabbat on May 11th, which was a very special moment. So now I have the opportunity to welcome some special guests before we begin what truly is the moment that many of you are waiting for. First of all, I want to invite all of the parents of graduates to please rise and stand. I would like to honor you. I would like to thank each and every one of you for 
not only being part of your children's journey, but for choosing Gray Academy, for making the choice of Winnipeg's Jewish Day School, of a Jewish education that will inform the future of our community, but I would like to have a round of applause to all of our parents. You may be seated. I would also like to wish Mazel Tov to siblings, grandparents, relatives, and obviously all of our friends and presenters who I will note momentarily. Also, as partners with our parents are all the educators who have been part of your journey from junior kindergarten all the way through to grade 12. And I would ask all of the educators that have returned to come to convocation, and there are a few of you in the room and I can see you because I'm on the BIMA and I'm taller than you now, and all of the current educators to please stand so I can acknowledge and honor you. So all of our educators past and present, I see you in the back there, so stay standing. There have been many a notes that have gone back and forth between our students and their teachers, thanking them, thanking them for those special moments, thanking them for being there at a hard time, thanking them to help them show the light in learning. And there is no time enough for me to stand here to thank the teachers and all of the staff for the role they play in each and every one of our students' lives from the moment they begin their journey with us until today, and they even come back. I know they go to Mr. Hamill for calculus help. They certainly don't come to me, but um, Gray Academy staff, when we ask our students, what is special? Why Gray? Why did you stay? Why did you want to be here until grade 12? And most of the time, nine out of 10, we are hearing about the relationships with staff, and I'm sure that we will hear that again later this evening. So I thank each and every one of you for what I call the magic that takes place every day. We do have some special guests here this evening that I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized. From the Jewish Federation of Winnipeg, we are very grateful to be a partner agency receiving the largest beneficiary to support the bursary program at our school to make Gray Academy accessible to all families. Here representing the Jewish Federation, Laurel Malkin, President. <laughs> Elaine Goldstein, Executive Director. Not sure if Faye rosenberg Cohn is here. I think she was hoping to, but she's not here. The Jewish Foundation of Manitoba houses two of our endowment funds, as well as many of the scholarships that are being given out this evening. Here representing the Jewish Foundation is Zachary Manuk, Director of Marketing and Communications. <laughs> Gray Academy is proud to be one of 51 independent schools across Manitoba, and we are proud to be a school of choice for families and part of the Manitoba Federation of Independent Schools. I was just at a board meeting at lunch today. Here representing MFIS is Teresita Kirala, the executive director. <laughs> Our students are very involved in youth programming at the Rady JCC through BBYO, and I thank Noah Farage for being here on behalf of BBYO <laughs> as the youth program coordinator. One of our large awards comes from the Canadian Friends of Hebrew University Winnipeg chapter, and on be here on behalf of the board is Beverly McCaffrey. <laughs> and here representing Jim Carr is Rochelle Zimberg. Thank you, Rochelle. And I have the privilege to do two special, three actually, three special um, mentions. We have two former principals of our founding school here this evening as grandparents. I would like to first of all note elementary, former elementary principal, Mrs. Edith Kimmelman, to please stand. Edith, who's a Baba this evening. She told me on her way in she is celebrating 64 years of Jewish education, so I've got 40 years to catch up to you. That is amazing. And she is still radiant and smiling with joy, so mazel tov to you. Former principal of Joseph Alinsky Collegiate, Jerry Cohn, who's also here as a Zeta. And uh, my former elementary French teacher, Madame Mouyal, Mrs. Mary Mouyal, who is here also as a Baba. So there we go, Madame. 
I almost said Mademoiselle and her son corrected my French. Sorry, Mr. Bedham, where are you? <laughs> Um, if I have missed anyone, hopefully you'll send a note up to the front so I can acknowledge you, but it is really special to have so many special guests with us this evening. In your program, you will also see a few letters written uh, from Sean Shore, the president of our board, a special letter from Laurel Malkin on behalf of the Jewish Federation of Winnipeg's board, and also a letter from Eric Winograd, the president of the Jewish Foundation of Manitoba. And with that, we begin the formal program to truly focus on transitioning you as graduates. It is my pleasure to welcome Mrs. Tracy White, our high school principal, to share special remarks to our graduates. I need to have it in writing so that I don't break into tears, right? I come with props. <laughs> no elastic band for this one. Faculty of Education, Brandon University. My very last exam in a course called Social Studies Methods. I remember walking into the classroom where the exam was being held. I remember the anticipation, the excitement, knowing that I was this close to being done. I was so excited to teach social studies, to share my love of history, my love of language arts, all of which have been my passion for years. I flipped over the exam. It had one question. One question. Discuss how the following quote applies to you. Only a lit candle can light an unlit candle. Oh, perfect. I got this. No problem. I get it 100%. I'm an inspired upcoming teacher. I'm going to inspire my students. The exam was a breeze. I wrote exactly what it meant to me. And I was finished in about five minutes. What else could I say? It talked about the passion as a teacher to inspire that passion in students. Over the years, the quote keeps coming into my mind. It would come into my mind when I was approaching a subject or a topic or a conversation where I wasn't too inspired to have that conversation. And I would remind myself of this quote, that if I'm going to inspire others, I need to do it out of a sense of passion and inspiration myself. Sitting in front of you today are the most dedicated, professional, passionate educators that you could ever come across. They have instilled a love of learning based on their passions for their subjects. I can see it by the projects on the walls, the discussions in the hallways, the requests to be in, in uh, one of your teacher's classes. I would like you grads to join me first in thanking our teachers for their inspiration and their guidance for you up until this point. Class of 2019, when I started at Gray Academy, many of you were the first students that I met as I toured through the building. As I navigated through my first year at the school, your grade to this day still stands out in my mind. So when I met you at the end of grade eight, the start of grade nine,
It was evident that you had something special. I will say there were one or two blips along the way in grade nine and 10. But as a grade, you came together. You listened to one another, you voiced, and you really listened to each other's ideas, concerns, supported one another. Then came grade 11. That one doesn't do justice. That one's better. Then comes grade 11. Your effect on others can be seen when you walk down the halls. I will tell you when any member of this graduating class walks down the hall, younger students' faces light up. It is because you have a genuine connection with people. Whether it is a high five, a nod, a wink, a hello, it comes from a pay place of passion and genuine connection with other people. We have an award called the Kravetsky Peer Nominated Award. This award allows members of the class to nominate a fellow classmate for an award. The number of nominations received by this class was a lot. That only speaks to the heart of this class. You make everyone around you feel special. You inspire everyone around you, whether you're connecting with an audience on YouTube, being strong and proud and confident and supportive through the GSA, speaking at Lamoud, dominating on the court or the field, being a supportive cast member in a musical, debating as camp counselors, through your volunteering. Everything you do is genuine. When I think back to that professor in my social studies methods course and that exam question, I think I really only understood half of its meaning. I did not realize how inspired the adults in the classroom can be and how inspiring a group of young people could be to those around them. Thank you. Thank you for caring for those around you, for seeing people as individuals and encouraging everyone who crosses your path. You are amazing role models. You stay true to yourself and you are honest with yourself. I know you will have a significant impact on those whose paths you cross in the future. May your light ever grow stronger. May you continue to inspire those around you and may you continue to follow what inspires you. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for you and I would just like to extend a congratulations to the class of 2019. Not done. Sit down, sit, 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 sit. These celebrations cannot take place without the help of a lot of people. No matter what job needed to be done this year, I always had willing parent volunteers. Thank you, parents. Every single parent has played a significant role in the festivities that we are enjoying this year. We have highlighted some of the committee members in the back of your program. Uh, please note that some of the committees had a larger number of people that also supported, supported them working in the background. I would like to thank Mia Elfenbaum and Cynthia Scott for your leadership with fundraising. 
Thank you to Lara London for organizing the Shabbat and Convocation receptions and working with a committee for decorating and to all of the bakers. Simone Cohen and Ira Verklin are still putting the final touches on the dinner and dance that's happening on Thursday. You and your committees have, still have a lot of moving pieces in which to coordinate. I'm going to miss you, Simone. You don't have any more children in the school. You have now helped me with a number of graduations. I appreciate your help. Thank you, Daniela Jacobson, for organizing the progressive dinner. And to all of the families who opened their homes and those who assisted them for our grads to enjoy a different course at every home last week. Thank you, parents. Thank you, Mrs. White. And I want to thank Tracy for all of the details of arriving at graduation. Tracy ensured that right before grad, she would join our grade nines in Washington for their trip to the Holocaust Museum and spend her Mother's Day with our grade nines, knowing she would be really busy when she got back, making sure she was here for the future class, our grade nines, who will be 2022, um, and for you as well. So thank you for everything you have done on their journey to arriving at this amazing event. How are you guys doing? You're good? Take a deep breath, it's hot. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're almost there. It's like a Muppet nose. It's the microphone. <laughs> okay. For 10 years, when I was a, a vice principal, I would always welcome our grade seven students, and I would tell them that my most important dream for them and goal in arriving at high school is that they would have a voice, a voice to speak up for themselves and a voice to speak up for others who could not speak. And I will echo what Mrs. White have said. If I were to think about you, and there are so many things I could say, but I know that the kindness and the values that each of you hold, not only for the close friends that you are graduating with, but the paths that you have walked through both in school, in BBYO, your neighbors, your camp life, you have truly, truly touched all of those students. And I know that your ability to have a voice in this world is going to resonate for many, many others as you walk into the world as adults and become whatever it is you dream in becoming. We're now gonna to shift to the valedictorian addresses, which is truly where we get to hear the voice of our students. We will begin with our Hebrew valedictorian, and we're very happy to always have a Hebrew valedictory address. If um, you are unable to follow along in the Hebrew, we have provided a translation. It is an English translation in blue in your programs. And I would like to invite up Evelyn Melech to begin with her Hebrew valedictory address. Gavir Binder, Dr. Ashrafi, Gavir White, Hammer Joyce, Morim, Mishpachot, Chavarim, and Chavarai La Kita. Buchim Abayim La Tekesium Shal Kita Tal Paim Vichaisre. Hai Sora Yehudi Shalanu Masa Roch Shal Al Feshanim. Bemeshach Al Feshanim, Hama Yehudi Ayam Fuzar Behola Olam, Blima Komamiti Sheikh Luli Kola Bait. Botat Kufa, Halomoshala Ama Yodi, Ayashati Elam Erech by Hlula de Belbe Vrit, Kamahid Vehopshi, Bemola de To. A Heshit Moleduim Kufot Kashot, Bel Baisel Amai, Elf Chamot or Bain Vishmone, Uchzam Medinat Israel, Kemedina Yodit. A Hrea Hraza Yodim mit Kolra Haverola, mit Hilula Lot Leretz Israel. Hayom Israel Mela be Yodim Mikol Xavota Olam, Masha of Hetis Israel Havar of Tobutit. ישראל הוא מקום שמעצב את היהודים ונותן להם ייצוג בכל רחבי העולם. זה, זה מקום שבו יהודים יכולים לעלות ולהתקבל בישראל בידיים פתוחות באופן מיידי. ככה זה גם בגרי קלמי. יש כאן תלמידים מכל רחבי העולם. בשכבה שלנו יש תלמידים מברזיל, ארגנטינה, גרמניה, ארצות הברית וישראל. 
גריי קדמי הוקמה ישראל הקטנה של אוונפג. הבית ספר והקהילה עיצבו אותנו להיות היהודים הגאים שאנחנו היום. אנחנו כתלמידים עברנו מסע משלנו כדי לסיים את התיכון. אנחנו ברי מזל שאנחנו מסיימים ללמוד בבית ספר יהודי באמצע אוונפג מאנטובה. אנחנו לומדים עברית לא רק כדי לדעת את השפה שמדברים בישראל, אלא גם ללמוד וליצור קשר עם ישראל. בזמן התיכון היו לנו הזדמנויות, הזדמנויות רבות להתחבר וליצור קשר אישי עם, עם המדינה. אם זה להצטרף למצעד החיים, לקחת חלק במשלחת של P2G וללמוד על הארץ בכיתה, כל התלמידים בבית הספר הזה התקשרו למדינה בצורה אחרת. גריק הלמי נתן לנו הזדמנויות לחוות יהודות בכל צורותיה למרות שאנחנו לא נמצאים במדינת ישראל. אנחנו הלכנו לריטריטס ולשבתונים ואנחנו חווינו את הדברים המיוחדים האלה ביחד כשכבה. בכל השנים שלי בגרי קלמי למדתי שאין דרך אחת ויחידה להיות יהודי. זה תלוי במה שאתה מאמין ומה שחשוב לך על מנת להרגיש מחובר ליהודות. כולנו למדנו על ערכים, אמונות ומסורות יהודיות ואנחנו יודעים שצריך להעביר את זה לדורות הבאים. גרי קלמי הוא לא כמו בית ספר אחר. יש אווירה מיוחדת שמקיפה את המסדרונות והבניין הזה. המורים שמלמדים בבית הספר הזה הם הסיבה לאווירה המיוחדת הזאת. הם, תור... הם תורמים בצורה נהדרת כדי להפוך את הבית הספר הזה למיוחד. אין מספיק מילים בעולם להודות לכל המורים בבית הספר הזה. כולכם הייתם פה ש... בשבילנו בכל רגע שהיינו בבית הספר. אתם לא רק לימדתם אותנו מתמטיקה או מדעים, אתם גם לימדתם אותנו שיעורים חשובים לחיים ואיך להיות בני אדם טובים. ראיתם אותנו גדלים ומתבגרים וזה מובן שכל המורים ואנשי הצוות בבית הספר באמת אכפת מאיתנו כתלמידים ורוצים את הטוב ביותר עבורנו. אתם כולכם שיניתם את חיינו לטובה. למשפחות ולחברים, אתם כולכם פה היום כי ראיתם אותנו עוברים את המסע הנפלא הזה. תודה לכולכם שהייתם פה בכל צד הדרך ועל התמיכה והאהבה שתמיד נתתם לנו. לכל ההורים, בלעדיכם אנחנו לא היינו אותם האנשים על הבמה הזאתי. אתם עזר, עזרתם לנו להגיע לשלב החשוב הזה בחיים שלנו. תודה על ההסעות לבית ספר כל יום, על ארוחות הצהריים שאכלתם לנו כל יום, ועל זה שכל הזמן הייתם פה כאוזן קשבת. תודה על האהבה, הסבלנות והתמיכה שנתתם לנו. ההורים שלנו שלחו אותנו לבית ספר הזה מסיבה מסוימת. הם רצו שנסיים את התיכון ולא רק נהיה חכמים, אלא שנצא גם עם ערכים ותכונות טובות. גרי קלמי נתן לנו הזדמנויות להיות מנהיגים, ספורטאים, מוזיקאים, אומנים ומדענים. על הבמה הזאת יש 26 תלמידים עם עתיד מלא בהישגים והצלחות. כולנו חיכינו לטקס הסיום הזה, אבל עכשיו שזה כאן, אני מצטערת שזה פה. כי זה אומר שאני צריכה לעזוב את החברים שלי שנתנו לי השראה כל השנים האלה. השכבה שלנו היא משפחה גדולה עם תלמידים שהיו פה מגן ילדים וכאלה שהצטרפו רק השנה. אני רוצה להודות לכל אחד מכם שעשיתם כל יום בבית הספר משעשע ומצחיק. אני מאחלת לכל התלמידים בשכבה שלי מזל טוב והרבה הצלחה בעתיד. לאן שבו העתיד שלנו ייקח אותנו, אנחנו תמיד נזכור את הזמן שלנו בבית הספר וכל הזיכרונות שעשינו ביחד ונחזיק אותם חזק בליבנו. במשך השנים קיבלנו חינוך יהודי לצד חינוך כללי. זה עזר לנו ללמוד על המורשת היהודית שלנו. זה עזר לנו להבין עד כמה חשוב זה להיות חלק מקהילה. חבריי לכיתה ואני גאים להיות חלק מבית ספר וקהילה שעושה מעל ומעבר כדי לוודא שכל התלמידים ומשפחתם מתקבלים בידיים פתוחות אל הקהילה שלנו. היום אנחנו עומדים, עומדים לפניכם עשירים בידע יהודי וכללי, עם לב מלא בביטחון, בגאווה ובאהבת ישראל. אנחנו כתלמידים גאים לסיים את, גאים לסיים את הלימודים שלנו בגרי קאנמי לחינוך יהודי ושכל החוויות שלנו בתיכון נמצאות בבית ספר המיוחד הזה שתמיד יהיה הבית שלנו. גרי קאנמי והקהילה תמיד נתנו לנו את ההרגשה והביטחון בידע שהם תמיד איתנו, תומכים בנו והם לימדו אותנו שישראל תמיד תהיה הבית השני שלנו. מזל טוב לכיתה של 2019 ותודה רבה. Evelyn, toda, toda lach. And I had the pleasure of watching those of you who could understand listening very intently with joy. Uh, and if you didn't have a blue translation and you would like to 
um, hear what Evelyn did say, please pass it along because it was very, very beautiful. And with that, for our English valedictory address, and I will just do a, a water glass change, Sarah Jacobson. Thanks for going first, Evelyn. This is really scary. <laughs> Thank you. Ms. Binder, Dr. Ashrafi, Mrs. White, Maura Joyce, staff, students, friends, and family. Welcome to convocation for the graduating class of 2019. I would like to start by congratulating Evelyn on an incredible speech. You did an amazing job. Mazel tov, Evelyn. <laughs> Sitting before you are 27 talented, ambitious, kind, and considerate students who you have all come to know in some manner. What you may not know is that sitting before you are 27 students, both terrified and excited in anticipation of beginning their lives outside the warm and comforting walls of Gray Academy. As we end our time here at Gray, we are given the opportunity to reflect upon the countless experiences that have shaped us into the students sitting before you. I like to think of our time here at Gray Academy as a song. Each of us are notes along the same sheet of music all contributing a different sound to this united melody. And although at the end of the day, we are all part of the same song, we all experience it in a different way. We all have our own lyrics to this united melody. Some of us join the song halfway through, some were there from the very first note, but all of us are here at the very end with you. It is these very differences that have kept us together to create the rhythm of our grade. We have Israelis, Argentinians, chess players, athletes, menches, and just about everything in between. At Gray Academy, no one identity has to be compromised for another. You can be a debater and a basketball star, or an artist and a juggler. Through this diversity, we all up here have learned the immense value of kahila, community. Gray Academy provided all of us with an extended family, and this is a unique and irreplaceable quality that not many other schools can offer. Above all, sitting before you are 27 students who are all friends, who have encouraged each other to be themselves, who have embraced these differences with open arms, and who have been together since the days of tearful goodbyes at kindergarten doors. Throughout this song, we have hit high peaks, low notes, and often remain coasting somewhere in the middle. All of these high peaks have in some way influenced the values that we hold as young Jewish adults sitting before you. P2G taught us to love Israel. Sports taught us how to be teammates. Retreat taught us how to be proud of our Judaism. And homework taught us perhaps the most important skill of all, having smart friends. These high peaks were also made up of small moments that are only really seen from within. For example, organizing a flash mob on the final night of retreat as a grade 12 class, covering Barry Bender and Chips as he fell asleep on the couch on the final night, or even the laughs that we share with each other every day in the lounge. These are the moments that have held us together. With the high peaks came the low notes, which can be argued as even more influential in shaping our identity. Gray Academy provided us with an environment that failing did not mean the end, but merely an experience to learn from. These lessons are ones that we will carry into the next chapter of our life. Notably, the lesson we all learned from not wearing our uniform, as the walk from Mr. Kaplan's room to Mrs. White's office for a blue slip was quite a lonely one. Or the lesson we all learned from submitting an assignment at 12 instead of 11.59, later to understand that it made no difference. Sorry, Avi. <laughs> this song of ours would be nothing without its conductors, the teachers. It is no secret that the connection between staff and students at Gray are unparalleled to any other school. Sure, teachers are there to teach you how to solve for tangent lines, analyze historical texts, and be your primary stress source. But at Gray Academy, teachers go far beyond these expectations. At Gray, our teachers double as our confidants, our mentors, inspirations, and some can even say friends. You have to go no further than the halls of Gray, where you see students belting songs at the top of their lungs alongside their teachers, hanging with their teachers over their freeze just because, or even the school office, where you can see more joys hugging every student on an average day of school. So to the teachers, thank you for putting up with our endless chatter and excuses. But more than that, thank you for making the school a home away from home and for teaching us to be good people, not only good students. Without you, we would not be sitting up here. Speaking of not being able to be up here, let's move on to the producers of this wonderful song, our parents. In a time of the ugly resurgence of outright anti-Semitism, it is not hard to understand the value in a Jewish education. So parents, we thank you for making the conscious choice to send us to a school where we not only learned what every other kid does, but also the values and skills we need to lead meaningful Jewish lives. Also, thank you for the countless car rides, yelling matches, schleps to Raiders games, and even schleps to Juggle Fest, the most exciting event of the Gray Academy school year. 
More than that, thank you for your investment in the success of all of us sitting up here and the continual support and love you have shown us. From helping us with homework in elementary to not knowing how to do the problems anymore in high school, prompting a response of, you know, I used to know how to do that, thinking it would somehow help us. We've come a long way. <laughs> I'm sure some of you, or let's be real, a lot of you had your doubts about all of us making it to this day, but we did it, and it would not have been possible without you. We can't thank you enough. Last, but certainly not least, to my fellow music notes, my best friends, and my inspirations, the graduating class of 2019. After 13 to 15 years, you think we'd get sick of each other, but somehow we aren't. In fact, as we have come to realize that our high school experience is quickly coming to an end, we have been in mad panic for the past three weeks, trying to hang out every single night possible. Sorry, mom and dad, for offering to host every time without asking. In fact, these past few weeks have really mirrored our high school years as a whole, I think, filled with countless laughs, tears, songs, and even some blues clues as Asher loves. <laughs> Not many get to say that they are genuinely sad to graduate, but I really think that all of us are a testament to that fact, as you can often hear all of us talking about how we would give anything to go back to day one. I, believe that, I do believe that it is our very bonds that we share between us that makes this end so hard. But this is not goodbye, as we have dinner dance in like two days. But after that, I have no doubt that our friendships will carry on into the future and live as a constant reminder of the incredible years that we have shared together at Gray Academy. With that, I would like to end with the wise words of vitamin C, I'm sure you all know. That's it. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Sarah. And again, thank you, Evelyn. Really, it's the voices of our students that are the most important this evening. We were a little worried. We weren't sure what the surprise was. But that was very beautiful to have everyone sing together. One thing that is very unique about Gray Academy is the opportunity to honor each and every one of our graduates to share their journey, to share their interests, their successes, their loves, and their passions. Even when we've had our largest graduating class of 48, we spent the time to speak about each and every one of them because each and every one of our students is important. And so we are about to transition to the opportunity to give out the diplomas, to hear the biographies of each of our graduates, and to eventually toss our hats and celebrate. But before we get to that, I would like to say a few thank yous. There are a bazillion things that go into planning for graduation, and they could not have happened without the tireless help of many of our staff in the office. Here this evening is Ange Northam, also as a mom and tirelessly working in the office, Ira Verklin, thank you both for your hard work, as well as my executive assistant, Lisa Borditsky and Janice Brigden. I want to thank again all of the teachers on all of the committees, yes, please clap, um, to my colleagues in crime, you know who you are. Um, I want to thank two of our students. Ari and Maya, who volunteered to ensure we had $100 to start a line in the Jewish Foundation of Manitoba's Gray Academy endowments. And so there now is a class of 2019 line that will open up in a few short days with money that was given by each and every one of these students. And this is a tradition we started about, I think, four or five years ago, that before graduation, we would start a line so that these students, and those who would like to honor them can ensure that our school is around for generations to come, that they will be able to make a mark for the experience on others. So I want to thank you all for beginning to plant the seed to make a mark for the future. So to th thank you to the whole class for starting the endowment line in our endowment at the Jewish Foundation of Manitoba. Standing or sitting before you are our graduates, but out in our audience are many alumni
who are proud to say that they too are about to join you and you're about to join them as alumni. So I would ask that if you are an alumni of Gray Academy or of Joseph Walensky Collegiate's grade 12 class that you please stand so I can show these students, the amazing people, that they are about to join in the history of our school. <laughs> 45 minutes, you become alumni. We're almost there. <laughs> Many of the awards that are given out are housed at the Jewish Foundation of Manitoba. They may, some, some of them started uh, decades ago. Either they were set out to honor an individual, to have the memory of someone in mind, so I encourage you to follow along in the program. We have a few awards housed at the Winnipeg Foundation. The Jewish Federation of Winnipeg sponsors the Jerry Kaufman Kahila Award, and the Winnipeg chapter of the Canadian Friends of Hebrew University, the Hebrew University Award, and many coming from the Winnipeg Board of Jewish Education, as well as individual families. As you hear the bios and the presenters who are going to be called up, I want to thank all of the presenters who are sitting in front of us. You will hear their names called up to help with the presentation, and we will note their connection, whether it is to a specific scholarship or a specific family. I do want to note, every year when we have a new award, we would like to acknowledge that new award. The class of 1987 recently had its reunion in 2017, and they too started the class of 1987's line in the Gray Academy Endowment. And so too, they chose to have the class of 87 award in memory of Ilana Dill, Zichona Livracha. Here today are Ethel and Svi Dill, Ilana's parents, to, for the first time, honor the award recipient, to bring honor to the memory of the late Ilana Dill, whose love for Israel Love for the Hebrew language still resonates today with the students that are going to be receiving that this year and for years to come. So I thank you for joining us. Knowing, having known Ilana myself and having been on an adventure with her in Israel in 1991, she was older than me and made me do some very interesting things. Um, but I know that this is a moment for us to remember Ilana and her class that made this special this evening, so thank you very much. And with that, it is my honor, I'm going to call up Avi Posen, Barbara Buffy, and Dr. Louise Edwards, who will be sharing the bios of each student. They will be meeting Mrs. White for their diploma. Um, I would like to thank, first of all, Dr. Edwards, who will be doing this for the very last time as she goes on to her adventures in Alberta, joining her husband and Miss Buffy, who is retiring from an amazing and joyous career in teaching and is off to her retirement. And I had their permission this evening to thank them. And that means, Avi, you have to stay for a very, very long time. So, and Avi is the class of 06, so you have a long way to go. And so without further ado, I would like to call the three of you up to begin with our biographies. Ready? Here we go. I'd like to call up Andrew Kaplan to help with the first presentation. Nathan Kirshner. Nathan recalls his easy transition into Gray Academy at the start of grade seven. He reflects back on that first day of grade seven and was worried he wouldn't make any friends or connect with teachers. After all, he writes in his ethical will in his own words, I was the shy, small, awkward kid. One of his first memories is cooking molten chocolate lava cakes with Mrs. Ross. He still can't believe how successful he was in the grade seven egg drop. Nathan is passionate about public speaking. He received the International Competitive Public Speaker Award and qualified for nationals in debating twice. His fondest memory of his public speaking career at Gray was in grade eight when he attended the National Seminar for Debating in Victoria, British Columbia. 
This trip was also the first time he had ever been on an airplane, stayed in a hotel, and wandered the streets without parent, parental supervision. That's when he knew Gray Academy was going to be his school until graduation. Nathan is also passionate about the Jewish community, and he is grateful that he had the opportunity to interview a Holocaust survivor at Gwen Sector in grade nine. Most of his volunteerism has been with the Jewish Federation of Winnipeg, PJ Library, and at Camp Mossad. He hopes to continue giving back to the community that helped raise him. Nathan wrote in his ethical will that he wants to leave Gray Academy knowing that he did everything he possibly could. He says, I believe that I am walking proof that anyone will be accepted to the Gray Academy family, even the shy kid. Next year, Nathan plans to attend the Asper School of Business at the University of Manitoba. He also hopes to travel, meet new people along the way, and continue to be a mensch. Nathan is the recipient of the Governor General's Medal, the Harvey and Sima K Scholarship, the Barbara and Raymond Kivis Scholarship, the Ron Silver Award for Physics, and the Tom Blair Memorial Scholarship for Chemistry. Nathan receives excellence with distinction in both general and Judaic studies. Thank you, Andrew. I'd like to call up Jamie Kagan on behalf of the Kagan family and Sherry Wolf Elazar to help with the next presentation. Sarah Jacobson. Sarah arrived in Winnipeg from St. Louis, Missouri, and jumped into her Gray Academy career with gusto in kindergarten. Sarah showed an early affinity for singing and dancing, and it was not long before she started to, to display her strong leadership tendencies, describing the thrill at being named Grade 6, grade six Recess Monitor. <laughs> When not overseeing the younger grades, Sarah could be found in knitting, chess, or writing club, apparently desperately trying to avoid going outside for recess. Her love of sport and competition, first noticed during elementary mini-stick hockey games, has flourished in high school, where she has played pivotal roles in basketball, ultimate volleyball, and badminton teams over the years. She was part of the team that made it to provincial zone basketball finals this year and represented Gay Grey Academy at the ba badminton provincial competition in grade 11. However, it is in ultimate that Sarah has found particular success representing Team Canada since she was 15, first as a member of the under 20s team and more recently the under 24s. While not running around a field or court, Sarah has been busy showing off her musical talents with the Neshama Choir or playing guitar and advocating passionately for the causes she believes in, human rights, gender equity, LGBTQ plus rights, Israel, and supporting local business. This has led her to her roles as president of Keshet, the school's Gender Sexuality Alliance, P2G, the Jewish Experience Chair, and the Jewish Experience Chair on Student Council, presenter at Lamoud, volunteer at the local chapter of the Box of, Box of Dreams charity, and committed customer of Skip the Dishes. Uh, Sarah achieved excellence with distinction from grades 7 to 12 and was named Athlete of the Year in each year of high school. Her extensive list of achievements also includes Ultimate Canada Junior Female Athlete of the Year in 2018, the Grade 10 Leadership Award, and the Mayor's Top 10 High School Athlete. Next year, Sarah will embark on a degree in Science and Global Health at the University of Toronto, but she promises to fly home if the Varsity Girls make the zone finals. Sarah looks forward to a future where she has a family of her own, is still in touch with her friends from Gray, and remains young at heart. Sarah will take with her very special memories from Gray Academy, including Hamorami Chal's Shabbat dinner, P2G, singing Minion Man with the Maccabees, case basketball trips, and sharing personal reflections during the Ethical Wills Day. Sarah is the recipient of the Gray Academy Gold Medal, the Barry Bender Award, 
the David Kaufman Award, the David Merrick Memorial Award, the Heather Stephenson MLA Award, the Lori Shankaro Scholarship, the Phil and Miriam Maltz Award, the Rebecca Swartz Memorial Scholarship, the Richard Tapper Memorial Award, the Winnipeg Kiddish Palm Springs Scholarship, the Michael Rosenberg Female Excellence in Varsity Basketball Award, the William Kagan Grade 12 Female Athlete of the Year, the Most Valuable Player in Varsity Girls Basketball, Grade 10 to 12 Badminton and Raiders Ultimate, Female Athlete of the Year, Student Ambassador Recognition, and Gray Academy Lifer Recognition. Sarah receives excellence with distinction in both general and Judaic studies. Thank you, ja Jamie and Sherry. I'd like to call up Sheppy Kuden to help with the next presentation. Gilad Stitz. Born and raised in Winnipeg, Gilad has been an integral part of the Gray Academy family since junior kindergarten. In those early years, Gilad describes contented life, summering in Gimli, playing living room hockey, apparently with a flagrant disregard for floors and furniture, and dressing up as a humantash for Purim. <laughs> Gilad has not stopped moving since grade seven. Between BBYO, floor hockey, flag football, debating, basketball, reach for the top, performing in the musical and student council, it is amazing he found the time for any schoolwork. But he did, and achieved excellence or excellence with distinction throughout. However, Gilad's high school career has been about much more than personal achievements, committing much of his time to volunteering and community service. He has been an invaluable member of the school's student ambassador program, helped out at numerous school events, volunteered at Herzliya Synagogue during high holidays, and has been BBYO regional president. He enthusiastically spends his summers as a counselor at Count Masad, his summer home, and has been a worthy recipient of the Menschlichkeit Award for the past two years. While Gilad lists the sleepover during the night of P2G and retreats as particular highlights, it is the moments in the lounge where everyone was together, talking, debating, and enjoying each other's company as a grade and as a family that stand out for him. Gilad is primarily driven by his passion for sports, watching, playing, analyzing, and he hopes to turn this passion into a career. He has been accepted to the Asper School of Business at the University of Manitoba and hopes to use this and perhaps a subsequent law degree to work in sports management or something similar. But whatever happens, he says his main goal in life is for happiness and a healthy family. Gilad is the recipient of the Gray Academy Silver Medal, the Chan Centennial Scholarship, the Harry Dane Baal Tfila Award, the Norman Satran Baal Midot Award, Student Ambassador Recognition, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Excellence with Distinction in General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Sheppy. I'd like to call up Cindy Usum and Pearl Rosenberg on behalf of the Polanski family to help with the next presentation. Jenna Bravo. <laughs> Jenna was a grade four student when she arrived from Cape Town, South Africa and joined this graduating class. Over the years, we have come to know Jenna as a student who seeks perfection in all that she does. Her aspirations are lit by rocket fuel, and, and Jenna makes choices that help her manifest excellence. Jenna feels deeply about her education, her school, and the world. Due to these traits, she has volunteered as a student ambassador, served as the regional president for BBYO, became a founding member of the Gay Straight Alliance at Gray, and spends her summers as a counselor at BB Camp with the young campers who depend upon her. Jenna cites Havdalah as the most transformative time at this year's Jewish Awareness Retreat. She says that love, joy, and laughter resounded from the circle of near graduates who have all been formative in her development. Another moment that stopped time for Jenna was during her P2G trip. She found herself in Tel Aviv on Rothschild Boulevard during Yam Hazi Quran and the honoring of fallen soldiers. She states, 
I have never felt more connected and unified with my roots. I felt a true sense of one nation, one soul, and one heart. Further studies for Jenna will place her in the Faculty of Science, which will ultimately lead to a Bachelor of Nursing degree. Jenna is the recipient of the Bernice Manishan Feintuck Peer Tutoring Scholarship, the Elaine and Alan Shinfield and Family Fund Scholarship, the Morris Manuk and Lillian Manuk Scholarship, the Naomi Polanski Community Leadership Award, and first place and third place in the Fern Shauna Rikus Literary Competition. Jenna receives excellence with distinction in both general and Judaic studies. Thank you, Cindy and Pearl. I'd like to call up Kevin Abrams to help with the next presentation, please. Enzo Shikani Sepeda Metos. Did I do okay? <laughs> After completing some early schooling in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Enzo began grade nine with his cohort of students. Enzo's ability to make us laugh is well developed, but when you unleash his serious nature, as he did in his ethical will, he stated, what I'm asking from each of you and from myself is to meet the upcoming challenges straight on with your head held high and your heart wide open. We value Enzo's commitment to community. He was an intern with the Stand With Us organization, which is a nonprofit international pro-Israel organization which fights anti-Semitism through education. Enzo's internship was one of 65,000 high school interns worldwide. Enzo also had a key role on the BBYO regional board this year. He served as Sunshine Brother and used his sense of fun and levity to bring cheer to all. And Enzo, when I invite Elon Musk to dinner, I will be sure that you receive an invitation. Football has been a cornerstone of Enzo's athletic life for the past 10 years. If you cannot find him on a football field, you may find him supporting teammates during an ultimate game. Enzo will enter the Faculty of Science at the University of Manitoba in the fall and ultimately will move uh, toward the study of genetic diseases. This young man is passionate about changing lives through this type of medical intervention. Enzo is the recipient of the Rachel and Dove Eisenstadt Memorial Scholarship, the Sydney and Pearl Morantz Bursity, Bursary, the Varsity Boys Volleyball Most Valuable Player, and the Grade 10 to 12 Badminton Coaches Award. Enzo receives honor roll in general studies. Um, thank you, Kevin. I'd like to call up Nicole Botch to help with the next presentation, please. Jonas Schweitzer. <laughs> Jonas began his studies at Gray Academy in grade two when he arrived from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Through the eyes of a seven-year-old, Jonas recalls that within six months, his language of choice went from Portuguese to English. This single-mindedness to succeed continued on for the next decade, and we note that this young scholar always managed to find his name on the excellence category of the honor roll. Jonas speaks of building relationships during his elementary years that have grown and matured over the senior years. He shares that one of the lessons he learned as a Gray Academy student was how to sustain important friendships. Jonas's advice and his ethical will to incoming students is to and I quote, find your passion and run with it. He suggests that we all have choices in life and one of the most important choices is how we react to the chaos around us. Jonas was a student ambassador for two years and in that role, he represented the ethics and goals of Gray Academy. In his personal time, Jonas enjoys swimming and is a certified lifeguard. We also know that most folks would tell you that Jonas plays a serious game of chess and that his mind is synchronized for success. 
Jonas hopes to study at the University of Manitoba Faculty of Science next year. He also has a secret desire to invest in real estate and build his portfolio via this business endeavor. Jonas is the recipient of the Rose and Louis Gunn Scholarship, Student Ambassador Recognition and Excellence in General Studies. Thank you, Nicole. I'd like to call up Martin Pollock on behalf of the Pollock family and Jamie Kagan on behalf of the Kagan family to help with the next presentation. <laughs> Devin Cohen. Even though Devin was born in Dauphin, Manitoba, he found his way to junior kindergarten at Gray Academy in 2004. The template for the superstar he was to become in sports was fashioned at a very young age during recess time. Devin remembers the overwhelming energy that took place during the soccer games down by the garage in the field where he was in the formative stages of learning good sportsmanship. Devin writes about guiding principles in his ethic well, and I quote, my Jewish education taught me to have strong Judaic values and morals. He goes on to say that his liberal education instilled the ability to be a critical thinker and to be able to analyze ideas and expand upon them. Devin also understands what it means to be true to who you are. This allows you to manage any situation that manifests. Devin has found one of his passions in team sports. He was a member of the school basketball team when they won the provincial championships tw championship twice. He has been named MVP for both basketball and badminton and has received the coach's award for ultimate. This young athlete who plays hockey and volleyball with all the strength, skill, and single-mindedness that he can muster. Devin recalls the grade 10 Jewish awareness retreat and the trip to Washington Holocaust Museum as highlights of his high school years. He also had a unique experience in the summer of 2018 when he volunteered at the World Masters Ultimate Club Championship where the best of the best senior players gathered in Winnipeg to tender their positions globally. Devin will be attending the University of Manitoba in the fall. His long-term goal is to study medicine and become a physician with a chessboard set up in the waiting room. <laughs> Devin is the recipient of the Nathan Daniel Pollock Memorial Scholarship, the William Kagan Grade 12 Athlete of the Year, Varsity Boys Volleyball Most Valuable Player, Raiders Ultimate Coach Award, Male Varsity Athlete of the Year, and Gray Academy Lifer Recognition. recognition. Devin receives excellence in both general and Judaic studies. Thank you, Martin and Jamie. I'd like to call up Beverly McCaffrey on behalf of the Canadian Friends of Hebrew University to help with the next presentation. Miles Cohen. Miles understands the personal and academic impact of spending his whole career as a student at Gray Academy. He writes in his ethical will, and I quote, I consider all of my teachers family, and it makes me sad to think about not seeing all of them every day. Miles shares life-altering memories about Hamora Carroll, his junior kindergarten teacher, who gave him permission to be both silly and respectful. We all can honor these affirmative thoughts. Miles believes in volunteerism, and an indicator of this is his serious involvement in student council from grade 7 to the completion of grade 10. He also gave his time to BBYO as Chatta's chapter president last year, and this year he served as regional MORA, welcoming and orienting new members. This role was made to order for Miles, someone who reaches out to others with generosity in his heart. 
Miles fondly recalls the Jewish awareness retreats and especially notes his 16th birthday celebration with Barry Bender and his friends in Lactabani. Miles wants you all to know the following fact that was a rare occurrence, but was a monumental achievement in his eyes. Miles recalls the day that his physics class wrote a test and he managed to score higher than one of his friends that always excelled in physics. Gold, gold star, Miles. This year, the cast of the musical Joseph welcomed Miles, who took on the role of Jacob, the father who has family matters to resolve. In the fall, Miles will attend Hebrew University in Jerusalem, and on the roster are Judaic, Israel, and Middle Eastern studies. Miles is the recipient, recipient of the Hebrew University Award for one year of study at the Rothberg International School. <laughs> Student Ambassador Recognition, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Beverly. <laughs> uh, I'd like to call up Graham Nedley to help with the next presentation. Jory Ganetsky. Jory has been at Gray Academy for 15 years, but her parents started bringing her when she was two months old. Her formative experience were at Gray, but she doesn't talk about that a lot as she would have to admit just how proud of her her parents are. Jory notes that she was almost the best speller in her grade, an award-winning mensch in middle school, the secretary of Keshet, a BB camp intern and counselor, and loved hanging out at the table outside Ms. Leipzig's office. School trips were a highlight for Jory, including Washington in grade nine and the P2G trip to Israel. But really, she loved all field trips, especially to museums. And she notes that nothing ever changed. You could go back every year and you just knew that buffalo would still be running nowhere. <laughs> but not Jory and her friends though. They all kept growing and learning. And if you wanna know the truth, Jory doesn't quite know what to say or think about graduating. She misses everyone already. Um, Jory was the face of junior kindergarten open house along with Jaron after they both became the stars of the Keith Levitt photo shoot. Her modeling career didn't stop there. You may have seen on last year's re-enrollment poster Jory and Jaron once again about to uh, enter grade 12 holding that picture from Amora Carroll's JK class. And tonight they walked down together, closing a beautiful chapter that speaks to the Gray Academy journey from JK to grade 12. Jory is the recipient of the Christie Office Continued Learning Bursary, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Honor Roll General Studies, and Excellent, Excellence in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Graham. I would like to call up Joyce Kerr on behalf of the Silver family to help with the next presentation. Martine Glickman. Martine was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, but moved to Winnipeg in time to start kindergarten at Gray Academy. A favorite memory of those early years is successfully piloting the plane on the grade three imaginary trip to Israel. It was also during elementary school that Martine first discovered his love of sport after briefly joining running club and helping Slytherin boo, to victory in the grade four Harry Potter games. Since heart starting high school, Martine has been an active raider, participating in Reach for the Top, curling, basketball, badminton, and ultimate teams. 
His athletic pursuits have led him to two provincial basketball championships, an appearance at the provincial badminton tournament in the mixed doubles, and recognition as both reach for the top MVP and provincial top 20 cross country runner. In grade 12, Martin, ser Martin served as the school council president, and it was in this capacity that he experienced his greatest achievement to date, getting those faster hand dryers in the school bathrooms. <laughs> Outside of school, Martine has spent the first past few years coaching youth basketball, attending BB camp as a counsellor, spending time with family and friends, and watching curling on television. He narrowly missed out on being on television himself recently when he was filmed for an A&W commercial. But after the, com after the experience, Martine has vowed to never forget there is no whopper in the burger family. He has been a strong student throughout school and looks out onto a world full of possibility. While his next adventure will be at the Asper School of Business, he is currently keeping his future options open. Who knows, maybe there is something out there that combines his passions of playing Diablo, learning new tricks, and LeBron James. Martine is the recipient of the Grey Academy Vision of Achievement Award, the Mayer and Rosalind Silver Award, the Michael Rosenberg Male Ex Excellence in Varsity Basketball Award, Varsity Ball Boys Volleyball Coaches Award, Student Ambassador Recognition, and Grey Academy Lifer Recognition. Martine receives excellence in general studies and excellence with di distinction in Judaic studies. Thank you, Joyce. I would like to call up Nancy Margulis to help with the next presentation. Samantha Gurvey. <laughs> Samantha joined Gray Academy in junior kindergarten and to this day still has vivid and clear memories of her first year at school. Samantha cannot believe that graduation is actually here. She questions, how did time go this fast? The time is here, and as Samantha looks back, she recalls being part of the Jungle Book in elementary school, the grade nine Washington trip, and high school retreats. One of Samantha's proudest moments was her role in Drumline as the first female drummer for three consecutive years. Samantha is thankful for all the help she has received along the way. In her ethical will, she thanks her parents for nagging her for all these years, as well as members of the faculty and staff for supporting her and never giving up. She does admit that she feels bad for all the stress she may have caused her parents over the years. Samantha is ready to face the real world. We know that she is going to miss the familiarity of the hallways and the faces that walk through them. Samantha's passion for art, working with kids, and her contagious laughter will be missed deeply. This summer, Samantha plans to work at Camp Masad, her second home. Next year, she plans to take a gap year. She hopes to one day soon attend Birthright and experience Israel. Samantha is the recipient of the Gray Academy Artistic Achievement Award and Gray Academy Lifer Recognition. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. I'd like to call up Andrew Kaplan to help with the next presentation. Ari Kimmelman. Ari started his Gray Academy journey in junior kindergarten. His earliest memory is watching Hamora Carroll catch grapes in her mouth to entertain the entire class. Later on, he recounts how much he loved Purim because he was allowed to run down the hallways to different activities. His extracurricular activities include debating, volunteering, community service, and acquiring life-saving medals. Ari has always considered Gray Academy a huge part of his life. It's where he endured many successes and even some struggles. He commented in his ethical will, and I quote, that it will be so strange to no longer call Gray my home. He mentions that he would not be who he is today without the people that surrounded him, his lifelong friends. 
Next year, Ari will be taking science at the University of Manitoba. He will most likely be involved with politics, will continue to play the guitar, and will take the stage debating. He envisions his future as a public speaker. Who knows, you may even hear him on a podcast or a TED Talk sometime soon. Ari's the recipient of the Evelyn and Benny Raymond Scholarship, second and third place in the Fern Shauna Rikus Literary Competition, Yiddish Contest, first place, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Excellence with Distinction in General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Andrew. I'd like to call up Marina Rissman to help with the next presentation. Toviel Cosman Rose. Tovi joined us just this year at the start of grade 12. He is the oldest of five siblings and is a leader in his family. He's originally from New York, moved to Edmonton in 2013, and lived in a few other cities in between, and now resides in Winnipeg. His most memorable experiences in his previous high schools are playing on the school basketball team, football team, and curling. He received honors with distinction his first few years of high school. Toby gives back to his community. He volunteered at a homeless shelter and was a part-time Hebrew teacher in Edmonton. He enjoyed being part of BBYO. In his free time, Toby plays the piano, enjoys hiking, biking, and writing. Toby has a natural love for politics. He is passionate about social justice, social reform, and world issues. Toby is grateful by how welcoming and inclusive the students were at Gray Academy. In the fall, Toby will be studying at the University of Toronto, specializing in English and journalism. He is still undecided of his long-term future plans, but we know whatever Toby decides, he will succeed. Toby is the recipient of the Blanaru Family Most Improved Student Award in General Studies, the Sylvia Silverberg Scholarship, Excellence in General Studies, and Judaic Studies. Mazel tov. Thank you, Marina. I'd like to call up Kevin Hamill to help with the next presentation. Maya London. <laughs> Maya's life path brought her home to Gray Academy for grade 12. After experiencing life in two other provinces, Maya wrote in her ethical will, and I quote, Gray Academy has strengthened my skills toward hard work, confidence, and creating unbreakable friendships. Maya's sense of humor led her to talk about a concept that held her in its clutches while she was absent from Gray. She calls it F-O-M-O, -O, the fear of missing out. Maya explains that her anxiety over missing out was quelled because of her director of communications, Jory, who always kept her on top of what was going on in our hallways and classrooms. Everyone who knows Maya feels deeply that this young woman sees each individual as a gift, a gift to be cherished. When Maya enters a classroom, there is a silent, unseen calm that moves over the space. Maya understands the concept, uh, concept of volunteerism and leadership firsthand. She has served as the BBYO Vice President of Membership and also BBYO Canada Co-Chair. We cannot imagine the number of hours of planning and execution those positions would merit. B'nai B'rith Camp on Town Island has been a summer home to Maya for the past nine years. Her love for the out of doors brings her back each year and camp was a touchstone in the midst of so much change. Nostalgia is descending upon Maya when she writes, and I quote, philosopher Andy Bernard from the office once said, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you actually have left them. Maya, I think you may have just crystallized this concept for all of us. 
Next year, Maya moves on to the University of Manitoba and sees herself one day working at the Children's Hospital as a pediatrician. Maya is the recipient of the Gray Academy Academy Vision of Achievement Award, the Shelley Weiss Memorial Scholarship, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence in Judaic Studies. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. I'd like to call up Ron Vanderhoof to help with the next presentation, please. Lidor Lulav. <laughs> Lidor grew up in Israel and remembers playing soccer with friends when he was younger. His later childhood saw him volunteer with the scouts and as a medic in the Israeli ambulance department. Never afraid of a challenge, in 2017, Lidor made the brave decision to leave Israel and move to Canada for grade 11. Lidor's English has improved so dramatically since, improving, since arriving at Gray that looking at his score on the provincial English exam, you would have thought English might have been his first language, an achievement of which he is particularly proud. Lidor is passionate about Israel and helping people and has decided to return to Israel to join the IDF where he hopes to become a combat paramedic and later a doctor. Although brief, Kiko, new kid in the local parlance, apparently, uh, his time at Gray Academy has left him with many great memories, including trying to communicate with his classmates while his English skills were still developing, being the older statesman of the grade, and Tamara Avi recognizing his experiences growing up close to Gaza. In particular, he will remember laughing with everyone in the lounge and being able to succeed impressively in calculus. <laughs> Lidor is the recipient of the Gray Academy ELA Award, Excellence in General Studies and Excellence in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> I would like to call up Bonnie Antel and Robert Diamond on behalf of the Diamond family and Elaine Goldstein, Jewish Federation of Winnipeg Executive Director and Laure Laurel Mulkin, President, to present on behalf of the Jewish Federation in memory of Jerry Kaufman. <laughs> Evelyn Melech. Evelyn was born in Israel and attended school there up to grade three. From grade four onwards, Evelyn has been a proud raider and lists watching E.T. and Charlotte's Web with Mrs. Mendrus in grade four, designing her own alien, and the grade six Shabbaton and grade six grad as her favorite elementary memories. Sports have been an important part of Evelyn's time in high school. She has been a dedicated competitive swimmer with the Manta Swim Club for many years, requiring her to commit 24 hours per week to training. But this year, she diversified her sporting portfolio and joined the varsity basketball, volleyball, and ultimate teams, as well as being a member of Athletic Council. Evelyn has continued to develop her passions for sports and helping others by spending three years as a swim instructor for children with special needs. She has also worked as a translator for young children at Ray DJCC day camps, volunteered as a student ambassador, and interned with the Jewish Federation of Winnipeg, where she recently helped to organize the community's Holocaust Memorial Week events. During her time at Gray, Evelyn has been the proud recipient of the Government of Canada History Award, Award of Excellence, Peer Tutoring Recognition Award, and Certificate of Achievement for Swimming. Next year, Evelyn will begin a degree in medical science at Brock University, the first step on her journey to achieving her dream of becoming a medical researcher, where she hopes to help find cures for diseases. Evelyn's favorite memories of her time at Gray Academy include revisiting and rediscovering the culture and food of her home country of Israel as part of the largest P2G delegation to date, and participating in Havdalah with her classmates at this year's retreat, where she was able to bond and create friendships with many people that she did not previously have the chance to bond with. 
Evelyn is the recipient of the Benish Manishan Faintuk Peer Tutoring Scholarship, the Dora and Almut Diamond Memorial Scholarship, the Jerry Kaufman Kahila Scholarship, the Philip and Gertrude Weiss Award for Holocaust Awareness, the Sheldon Oberman Writing Award, Student Ambassador Recognition, Excellence, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Bonnie, Robert, Elaine, and Laurel. I would like to call up Nancy Margulis for, to help with the next presentation. Hannah Muyal. <laughs> Hannah began her journey at the age of four in junior kindergarten with her all-time favorite, Hamora Carroll. Hannah recalls elementary school as a happy time where she enjoyed spelling and map tests. She sang Hebrew songs that she learned in school during family Shabbat dinners at home. Continuing into high school, Hannah continued to work hard. She gave 100% to whatever came her way, and she never gave up. There wasn't a day that her teachers and parents were not proud of her accomplishments. Hannah has always been a determined and courageous young lady. Those that are close to Hannah know that she is a true and loyal friend. She accepts people for who they are and has a heart of gold. Hannah's passions are animal, animals and art. Her caring nature and artistic sides are remarkable. Next year, Hannah plans to follow in her mother's footsteps by continuing to help animals by becoming a groomer. She will definitely continue to foster and care for animals in need. Hannah is the recipient of the Gray Academy Community Commitment Award and Gray Academy Lifer Recognition. Thank you, Nancy. I'd like to call up Joyce Kerr on behalf of the Cates family to help with the next award. Itai Noodle. Itai attended elementary school in his home country of Israel, where he remembers playing soccer every recess and collecting and playing with marbles while in kindergarten. One of his notable achievements during this time was becoming Israel's under-10 chess champion. Upon moving to Winnipeg and starting Gray Academy in grade seven, he recalls being surrounded by 10 of his classmates, all eager to meet him and introduce themselves, an experience that quickly calmed his nervousness about starting a new school in a new country. Throughout high school, Itai has participated in soccer, badminton, tennis, and chess, and generously offered many hours of help to his classmates in math and science. <laughs> this unwavering selflessness led to what may rank as the most coordinated campaign in history by his classmates to nominate Itai for the Peer Nominated Award, which he will be receiving this evening. He has also shown community and civic pride by volunteering at Sharon Home and for the Conservative Party during elections. A gifted student, Itai was the school math champion in grades 10 and 11 and has achieved awards of excellence in both general and Judaic studies. He will continue to stretch himself academically next year when he starts the engineering program at the University of Manitoba, a perfect mix of two of his passions, math and science. In the future, he looks forward to traveling the world, getting a job, buying a house, and helping others. Itai is the re recipient of the Ethel and William Valvel Kozak Scholarship, the Kravetsky Family Peer Nominated Award, the Philip Cates Award for Outstanding Volunteering and Mentoring, and the Victor and H Hinder Hamovich Memorial Scholarship. Itai received, receives excellence with distinction in general studies and excellence in Judaic studies.
Thank you, Joyce. I would like to call up Sylvina Moadeb to help with the next award. Asher Rich. Asher started his career back in 2007 in grade one. It was his first appearance being with his friends and he knew that day that they would be his best friends. Playing I Have Who Has in grade one, reenacting Harry Potter with Hamoret Chris in grade four, and the grade six farewell are all fond memories for Ash. Looking back, he states, that the best thing about elementary school was getting two apple juices and a chocolate chip muffin every day in grade three. <laughs> As he matured into high school, Asher is proud to say that he became a leader in room 204, his home base for several years until he discovered the grade 12 lounge. He recalls the play Sheer Madness in Washington as being hilarious. His trip to Israel with P2G as being the best trip of his life. And of course, Retreat, where he bonded with Barry Bender, and they became quick bros. <laughs> he looks forward to hosting the pre-graduation party at his dad's house. He especially can't wait to party with all of his friends. He will most certainly miss playing the roles of Biff and Titus in Miss Buffy's ELA class. Next year, Asher will be attending the University of Manitoba Fine Arts Program, where he will explore his true passion and creative side. He may even be seen painting murals in the underground tunnels. He also wants it to be mentioned that in his future, he will also become a great baker, design shirts for Rich Lou, and get his driver's license. Asher is the recipient of the Benny Rubin Artistic Award, the Top Mark Scholarship for School Pride, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Honor Roll in General Studies, and Excellence in Judaic Studies. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvina. Are you, is there anyone to present this award? You can just make your name? Okay. Oh, because he's not, uh, it's, there's no one to present because Sam's not here. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> uh, so on, uh, Sam Rosenfeld is our uh, next graduate, but unfortunately Sam has had to already return to Germany and he's unable to be here today to celebrate this evening. Uh, we hope that he's watching online and we are very happy to share his bio with you. Uh, Sam was born in Gießen in central Germany and attended school ne in nearby Frankfurt until the end of grade 11. He has fond memories of trips with friends and classmates to destinations around Europe and even Japan. These trips saw him enjoy Champion League soccer live at the stadium, roller coasters at Germany's largest theme park, Europa Park, as well as art galleries. And thanks to many a recess playing around the world ping pong at middle school, he has become quite adept with a table tennis paddle. During his high school years, he participated in basketball, table tennis and swimming, and he is a blue belt in taekwondo. When not reading, fantasy, horror, and history books are a favorite, or listening to music, Sam can be found quietly becoming a tech pioneer. He is an avid coder and has already started developing an app for iOS and Android. Uh, while in Germany, Sam earned a place on the honor roll several times, in addition to achieving second place in the, his local provincial math competition. He has volunteered at, home, at a home for people with special needs and is a social internship graduate. He is also a certified li lifeguard. 
It is never easy to move schools, let alone countries, for your final year of high school. But he recalls being sent off in style by his school friends in Germany who threw him a surprise party. However, it was recently the turn of his friends here to say goodbye, as, as I mentioned, he headed back to Germany to hopefully study software engineering. Sam's love of travel and sense of adventure he sees skydiving in his future, will hopefully also take him further afield, perhaps to study in ja Japan. He already speaks Japanese quite well, or at least living in Asia at some point. But keep an eye out for Sam's name as he pursues his dream of creating something revolutionary while working for Google, Microsoft, Apple, or perhaps his own company. He also hopes to be driving a Tesla Model S. Sam is the recipient of the Top Mark Scholarship for Global Citizenship, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence in Judaic Studies. I would like to call up Nata Spiegelman and Danielle Appel to help with the next presentation. Ronnie Rosen. Runny joined Gray Academy only three short years ago at the beginning of grade 10. She was a welcome addition to the grade with so few girls, so they were very excited to have one more. Since attending Gray, Runny threw herself into almost everything that came her way. She volunteered at Limud, at synagogue programs, leading children's activities, and many school-wide events. Runny is soft-spoken and sometimes shy, and she would never hurt a fly. She's passionate, considerate, and extremely kind. Her passions involve working with kids, gymnastics, and being around animals. She's an exceptional older sister to her brothers. In her free time, Ronnie enjoys scouts, swimming, camp, family trips, and participates in many gymnastic competitions, often winning first place. Ronnie's most memorable event at Gray was attending P2G last year. She was able to go back to a place that she loves and still considers home. She recalls connecting with her gray friends a great deal and felt so much closer to them. Her proudest moment was when she taught an Israeli dance to elementary students in Israel. She says it felt good to create programs, speak in Hebrew, and lead the kids in a meaningful and important activity. Next year, Runny plans to attend the University of Manitoba and hopes to become an architect. Runny is the recipient of the Paula and Rudy Lowenstein Award, Student Ambassador Recognition, Honor Roll General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction Judaic Studies. Thank you, Neda. I'd like to call up Robbie Waldman on behalf of the Lesh Waldman family to help with the next presentation. Jaron Rakus. Jaron's memories at Gray Academy filter way back to junior kindergarten and kindergarten when Hamora Ethel rocked his reality and told him to put away his toys because there was learning to be done. <laughs> Jaron is a most passionate individual. He has come to understand that it is necessary to live a life of both humility and gratitude. He stated in his ethical will that if we live in this way, we can all consistently remember our place in the world. Rab Rabbi Emily would applaud this philosophy, yes? A most life-changing involvement for Jaron was BBYO. He speaks about the immense euphoria when he was elected Godot and served as the regional board on the regional board three times. He went on to international affiliations and won both the Silver Shield of David Award and the Tree of Life Recruitment Award for countless hours of dedicated work for the betterment of BBYO. Jaron is a seasoned debater and public speaker and fills the stage with his presence wherever he finds himself. This year, he was Pharaoh in our production of Joseph, the fourth school musical during which we were awed by his ability to project a character straight into our hearts. As a musician and filmmaker, Jaron proves to us that his creative nature is the essence of his being. 
with co-creators Noah Slain and Miles Cohen, Jer Jaron produced the short film The Grandmother's Secret, which was highly successful in a Yiddish competition. Next year, Jaron will be attending Kivunim Gap Year program in Jerusalem, during which students will visit 12 countries. His fu future endeavors will possibly include law school or becoming a child psychologist. Jaron is the recipient of the Carol Lesh Learning and Giving Award, the Rabbi Kravitz Award, Gray Academy Lifer Recognition, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence Judaic Studies. Thank you, Robbie. I'd like to call up uh, Rochelle Zimberg on behalf of MP Jim Carr and uh, Joyce Kerr on behalf of the Corey family. Noah Slayen. Noah was born in Winnipeg and started his Grey Academy journey in grade one, where he remembers being warmly welcomed by his classmates. Other notable elementary memories include the grade six Shabbaton and calligraphy club in grade four. A classic all-rounder, Noah has shown a talent for math, science, the arts and sport throughout his high school career, throughout his school career in fact, from balancing consistent academic excellence with playing ultimate volleyball, golf, curling, track and field, basketball and badminton, where he claims even to have beaten Mr. Hamill once, to singing with Nesha McGuire, Noah enthusiastically embraced everything high school had to offer. He even managed to find time to play the lead of Joseph in this year's school musical, one of his proudest achievements. Noah has also been active in the local community, volunteering at the Simkin Center as a madrich at the grade six Shabbaton and as a Hebrew teacher at Mitzvah Mine Sunday School. Noah describes his experience on the P23 trip to Israel as life-changing, and next year he hopes to attend Hebrew University for one year. He then intends to return to the University of Manitoba to study engineering, business, or journalism. His future dreams involve traveling the world, helping people living in poverty, being happy, and maybe even one day seeing the Leafs win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Noah's most cherished memories of high school include everything about retreat, the Washington trip, and finally becoming friends with Hamora Michal. Noah is the recipient of the Jim Carr Member of Parliament Award, the Joseph Ezra J. Cohen Baal Kriya Award, the Leslie Ann Levy Corey Memorial Award, the Mel Goldenberg Award for Excellence in Yiddish Language, the Steinbach Credit Union Scholarship, the Golf Coaches Award, the Grade 9 to 12 Curling Coaches Award, and Gray Academy Life at Recognition. Noah receives excellence with distinction in general studies and excellence in Judaic studies. Thank, oh, oh, not quite. Thank you, Rochelle and Joyce. I would now like to call up Heidi Crowley to help with the next presentation. Toby Scop. <laughs> Toby came to Canada from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and after early school schooling at Brock Corridon, he joined the Grey Academy family in grade four. He recalls the pain of losing in the Harry Potter games as a member of Team Ravenclaw, the joy of being Christopher Columbus for the Our Great Explorer project, and building a robot in grade six. In high school, Toby has been a consistently strong student academically, winning the Government of Canada History Award in 2018 and being named the school's Sh Schulich Award nominee in 2019. Toby has also been an active member of the school community, acting as vice president of Keshet, captain of the reach for the top team in grades seven to 10 and receiving the grade 10 leadership award. Outside of school, Toby has shared his time between competitive dance, including hip hop, tap and contemporary, water polo, spin class, volunteering at Earl Grey Elementary School, 
Regional Vice President of BBYO and Regional Intern for Stand With Us. Toby cites Short Fridays being the school's Just Dance champion, Spirit Week 2019, Juggle Fest and Retreat as highlights of his time at Grey Academy. He lists, lists LGBTQ plus equality, the environment, indigenous rights, Israel and March Madness as his passions. <laughs> Next year, Toby will attend the University of Manitoba to study engineering. He hopes to use his education to start a business that will help preserve the environment and reverse all the harm that global warming has done. Toby is the recipient of the Councillor Kevin Klein Leadership Award, the Morris Goldberg Scholarship, the Sheldon Obermore Oberman Writing Award, ex excellence with distinction in both general and Judaic studies. Thank you, Heidi. I would like to call up Greg Bedham to help with the next presentation. Daniel Chernoff. <laughs> Daniel moved to Winnipeg from Demona, Israel and joined the class in kindergarten. As Daniel looks back over his career here at Gray Academy, he states in his ethical will that the day-to-day -day academics have made him a more vigilant learner, someone who has become honest and unbiased in the process of integrating knowledge. Daniel believes in volunteerism and spent a summer sharing time with senior residents at the Oakview Nursing Home. He also chose to get involved with the Limud festivities here on campus for several years. Outside of school, Daniel has been immersed in the study of karate most of his life. Over the years, this young martial artist has earned a first degree black belt in a sport that merged mind, body, and spirit. When addressing younger students in his ethical will, Daniel speaks about the importance of becoming self-reflective and focusing on the present. He states, and I quote, only in the present can we experience a position of real growth, acceptance, and understanding. Only in the now can things truly change. Daniel is passionate about the health sciences and plans to attend the University of Manitoba in the fall as a prerequisite to later earning a license as a paramedic. Daniel is a recipient of the Gray Academy English Language Arts Award and Gray Academy Lifer Recognition. Thank you, Greg. I'd like to call up Ethel and Zvi Dill on behalf of the Dill family, Ed Scheinwald on behalf of the Scheinwald family, and Sam Cates on behalf of the Cates family to help with the next presentation. <laughs> Tomer Verklin. <laughs> Tomer shared with us that he has two birthdays. One is the date upon which he was born, and the second is the date he immigrated to Canada, May 3rd, 2011. Tomer was born in Rehovot, uh, Israel, and began his Gray Academy life when he joined the grade four class for the final two months of the year. Tomer has been reflecting deeply upon his accomplishments during his high school life, and his involvement in team sports is at the core. This young man cherishes his time with the two-time provincial championship team for basketball and his time spent playing ultimate volleyball and soccer. It is easy to see that Tomer considers fitness an important part of his life as, an, as he was an elite swimmer for four years. Tomer has a good sense of humor and as well knows how to be intense and serious. He takes great pride in his time as a student ambassador for the school and feels that Jewish awareness retreats over the years created an atmosphere of learning, friendship, and growth. Tomer is passionate about Israel and cherishes his P2G experience. We also saw a strong stage presence when Tomer took on the role of the Egyptian millionaire, millionaire Potiphar in our production of Joseph. Go, go, Potiphar. 
One of Tomer's favorite places in the whole world is BB Camp, and once again this summer he will be a youth counselor, youth counselor on Town Island. Next year, Tomer will be attending Asper School of Business with a vision for the future. Instead of putting on a jersey for an NBA or NFL team, he hopes to pace behind the bench and manage either the Packers or the Raptors. <laughs> Tomer is the recipient of the Class of 87 in memory of Alana Dill Award, the Elaine and Alan Shinfield and Family Fund Scholarship, the Cates Family Memorial Scholarship, the Sharon Scheinwald Scholarship, Student Ambassador Recognition, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence with Distinction in Judaic Studies. Thank you, Ethel, V, Ed, and Sam. I'd like to call up Lawrence Goldstein to help with the next presentation, please. Eyal Zingerman. For those paying close attention, there is a theme song for Eyal in the grade. Often uh, the grade breaks into it at the beginning of class. This might be the best time to do it. Eyal <laughs> joined us in 2015 at the beginning of grade nine. He came from Israel when he was 14 years old and was terrified of starting a new school. His first experience at Gray is one that he will never forget. Firstly, he was accidentally put in the wrong grade. <laughs> then, when he was moved to the right grade, he had to attend Spirit Weekend, the first weekend of school. <laughs> As he recalls, I was thrown into the deep end right away. He would have never known that he didn't speak English because he said yes to everything those first few weeks. If you ask Eyal's friends what they, what they say about him, they'll tell you he's the most modest and humble person in the grade. He is the person that helps everyone and never asks for anything in return. Next year, Eyal plans to take engineering at the University of Manitoba. Eyal is the recipient of the Blanaru Family Most Improved Student Award for Judaic Studies, Excellence in General Studies, and Excellence in Judaic Studies. And with that is our graduating class of 2019. There's so much I wish I could say, but because I know that I want to leave with everybody wanting more rather than having had too much, I can just say how privileged I am to come to work every day with you giving us the space to hold for you when you had difficult times, to hold the space when you celebrated, when you were successful. And my wish to you as we are about to transition as complete graduates is to hold that space for each other, to become each other's chosen family. And that is truly what is unique for being a Gray Academy graduate. And it is also, I think, listening to each of the bios, we are reminded of the strength of our community, whether it is the Winnipeg Jewish community you choose, or whatever community, we know that we have much to be proud of in your leadership and your moving forward. And with that, joining the ranks of many of our alum, and I'm going to invite Hamora Tatiana to the piano, she is there, we are going to I'm going to 
Count down, three, two, one. Hopefully you put your name in them. <laughs> Mazel tov to the graduating class of 2019. And with that, you will join them to celebrate in our reception and the receiving line. Thank you to all of our guests for coming this evening. Mazel tov to all of our families and thank you to all of our staff. Yeah, you can leave your stuff under the chair.